But it gives you a way to see into the past and the future through the time portal. Like a TV set, only what you're seeing is real. Wow, that's neat! As a matter of fact, I was just about to fire it up for the very first time. Here, I'll show you. Great! And then I can show you my history report and my new school supplies. I need a coin to start the washing machine. Guess I'm fresh out. Hey, I think I've got something that will solve the problem. Here's a coin, Mr. Firebird. Ah, this is not a mere coin, Putt-Putt. It is the key to great knowledge. The washing machine is providing the perfect ratio between the inverted subspace bubble frequency, the molecular torque, and the spin cycle. <laughs> Holy Jackson! This shouldn't be happening! Putt-Putt, and good luck! Wow! It's like a science fiction movie, except I have a feeling that this is reality! These must be the four places where Pep and all my things landed. I wonder where I should go first. Looking around, in the time continuum. What things have always been. One, two, three, four. You're vastly through it to places in time for you. That's where you'll find Pep. And my homework? 
We feel it sad that your homework is gone and everything's wrong, but it won't be for long. But when, when you look up, up, you'll see the time doesn't stop because it goes on forever. Goes on forever? Goes on forever. You see the old west and meet the king and see dinosaurs. And really neat future thing. When you return, you'll know what you'll learn. Pay close attention. Stay on your mission to see new dimensions. And, and when you look up, up you'll know that time doesn't stop because it goes on forever with you. the age of the dinosaurs. I wonder how I can move this thing so I can drive through. Hey, it's a rock in the shape of a circle. Whoa, it's a big one. Wowie zowie. It's a real live brachiosaurus. Ms. Brachiosaurus, and who or what in the primordial ooze are you? I'm Putt-Putt, and I've come from the future. I'm trying to drive across the road back there, but there's a strange something blocking it. That strange something happens to be my tail, Putt-Putt. Gee, if it wouldn't be much trouble, Ms. Brachiosaurus, would you mind moving it so I can get through? Not at all, honey. Not at all. I really appreciate it. Hey! I don't mean to be rude, but do you ever get up or do you just lie around all day? Oh, I get up all right. But when you're tipping the scales at 50 tons and you're 75 feet long like me, every once in a while you get the sudden urge to take a rest. Thanks a lot, Ms. B. It's a rock in the shape of a pentagon. Whoa, it's heavy! Hey, it's a rock in the shape of a circle. Now I'm off to explore the age of the dinosaurs. What we got here is your basic mess. Hello, I'm Putt-Putt. Do you need some help? Yes, but first, you gotta tell me what in the heck is a Putt-Putt? I never laid eyes on anything quite like you before. I'm a car, and I'm visiting from the future. Whoa, imagine that. I'm Will. Glad to meet you. Say, Putt, how'd you like to help me figure out how to move this basic pile of rocks? Then I can build me a bridge and go home. I'd be happy to help you, Will. All I have to do is figure out how to do it. Full speed ahead. <laughs> that was fantastic, stupendous. Cut you card from the future. Sure know how to fix your basic bridge. Thanks. Uh oh. Big time problem alert! Looks like we're gonna need one more rock to finish the job! Looks like we need a rock shaped like your basic circle! Will, guess what? I found a rock, and I think it will fit in the hole in the bridge! Well, what do you know? A gazillion putt. Well, I'm homeward bound. Come visit any old time you like. <laughs> Hello, putt. Hello to you too, Will. Where are my manners? Can I interest you in some fabulous, delicious, nutritious primordial soup? 
made it myself. Sure, that would be great. Compliments of the house. Mmm, primordial soup tastes terrific. Hey, this is really an interesting bowl. Basically made that myself too. Why don't you keep it? I have another bowl. Gee, thanks, Will. Ah, oh, don't mention it. Delicious, strange, something or other about to attack. I just know it. No, it isn't. I'm Putt Putt. I never hurt anyone, honest. Promise? <laughs> of course I promise. <laughs> oh, gosh. I feel much better. Say, you want to play picture jumble with the rocks? Sure, that sounds like fun. One spot. Let's move that one. I sure had fun playing with those rocks. Thanks, T-Rex. Play a game? Here you go. See if you can match this one. All right, go for it. Now see if you can match that. You're sitting there thinking this is gonna be easy. If you want to leave, now's the time to click on the old flashing arrow. Okay. It's always busy eating. On a good day, he could go through a couple of bushes and nothing flat. It's my history report. I think I better get that triceratops to move before I pick it up. Excellent idea, my friend. Nobody but nobody gets in between a triceratops and his dinner. I 
I can't quite reach. Oh, uh, I... Ooh. Look at that! It's an Apatosaurus! An itchy and a horribly miserable Apatosaurus at the moment. My name's Putt-Putt, and maybe I can help you. What a positively inspired idea. You could just roll on over to my back and scratch away this terrible itch. But then I'd have to drive over your head. Not a problem, Putt-Putt. I'm tough. I can take it. Just, oh, scratch that spot, please. No, oh, if only I could scratch that itch. Ooh, now go a bit to the left. Oh, yes. A little more to the left. A bit more to the left. Yes. Yes. Go a little bit down. Oh. Ooh. Now go a bit to the left. A little more to the left. Ah. Oh. You got it. Thank you. You're welcome. I was happy to help. Mind if I drive over your tail to the other side? As far as I'm concerned, Putt-Putt, you could drive on me all day and night. Be my guest. Subject Woodward. We have been out collecting wood for the blacksmith when a horrible rainstorm hit. We were charging back to the castle as fast as we could when I hit a bump and my wheel fell right off in the middle of the road. Well, maybe I can help you figure out a way to get that wheel back on. That would be wonderful, Putt Putt. Now I wonder how we should do this. Okay, Princess Cassie, here's the plan. You lift up your friend Woodward, and I'll slip on his wheel. It would be my pleasure. Oh my goodness gracious sakes! Good thanks to both of you. You're welcome. Now I must hurry back to the castle. My father, King Chariot, is expecting me for story time. And I have to return with a blacksmith's firewood. Perhaps I'll see you later, Putt-Putt. Bye! Wow, this is some castle! 
cool. Yes, it is. Only the reins have rusted the gates shut. We need something to help loosen them up. That's what I think. Maybe I can find something that would work. That would be wonderful, Putt-Putt. Buddy, you new in town? I'm Putt-Putt. I'm visiting from Car Town, far in the future. Well, dang a -a ding dong That is something, ain't it? I'm Virgil Clyde. A rope. This might come in handy. Look at that huge pile of hay! Hay is usually for horses, but if it pleases you, help yourself. Thanks! It might come in handy, you never know. around these here parts. No, I'm not. I'm Putt-Putt, and I've traveled here from the future. Sure you have. The name's Lurleen. What can I do for you? I'd like to look around, if you don't mind. Not a bit. Not at all. <laughs> if that don't beat all. <laughs> I'd like some chewy, fruity wagon wheels, please. It'll cost you a nickel. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to come back when I have one. Hey, Sonny. You didn't show up a moment too soon. I'm looking to hire me a junior conductor. Pique your interest, son. Job pays a nickel. Sure, what do I have to do? For starters, you can oil me up while I'm as dry as a creek bed in Indian summer. It's an oil can. <laughs> A little on the wheels would do nicely. By the way, my name is Tobias T. Train. Ah. But you can call me Toby. Oh, much better. A thousand thanks, amigo. You're welcome, Toby. Say, I didn't catch your name. My name's Putt-Putt. Well, Putt-Putt, my partner, so far, you've made a mighty fine junior conductor. Here's your pay. One round nickel. Thanks, Toby. And you hang on to that old can. After all, now you're my official junior conductor. Thanks. Here's a nickel for the chewy fruity wagon wheels. Help yourself. It's all yours. Mm-mm, good. 
Anything else I can do for you, Toby? As a matter of fact, there is. I'm fresh out of water. And for the life of me, I can't reach that spigot way up there on that water tower. How's about putting that nog into work and finding something you can use to pull down that lever so you can fill me up? I'll bet I can do that. Toby, I found a rope, and I think it's just the thing to do the trick. I thought you'd be the kind of cowpoke who'd be handy with a rope trick. <laughs> Officially in business, thanks to you, Mr. Junior Conductor. Anytime you want to take a ride around the tracks, just hop on my flat car. I'll give you a ride you won't soon forget. Thanks, Toby. I'm sure I'll take you up on it. It sounds like fun. Well, Buckaroo, where do you want old Toby to take me? Next stop, Gold River. Excuse me, hello. Well, howdy, young'un. Uh, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm panning for gold. Wow, there's really gold in that river? Uh, uh, what, what's that say? Uh, what, you can't get hold of a quiver? Are you gonna shoot a bow and arrow some? I have a funny feeling that prospector didn't hear a word I said. Well, looky here. Dang, blam it. It's just a bunch of old, rusty keys. Excuse me, do you mind if I take these? Ah, Sonny, you can take them, shake them, or bake them for all I care. They're just a bunch of good-for-nothing keys, is all. You never know. They might be good for something. That's the stone bull wheel gave to me. It's really ancient. Oh, nope. Not what a... Hot and dry. It's the desert. Would you look at that? Animal tracks. I wonder where they go. pounds. That's the, those are, that's the, that's the stuff. It's an armadillo. You're kind of cute for such a funny-looking guy, aren't you, boy?
All aboard for Hubcap Hill, Tire Flat's very own ghost town. It's my calculator. Hey, little guy, could you throw that down to me, please? It's mine. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Ugh. Oh no. That trunk is locked up tight. Which key should I use? This key doesn't fit. Maybe I should try a different key. Which key should I use? Hmm. It worked! my calculator back. Now all I have to do is get Pep, my lunchbox, and my history report. So Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. We're off and chugging to the old rock mine. Hang on, we're headed back to Tire Flat Station. Your sweet little hubcaps, he likes it. I'm mm. telling you, the guy's a total herbivore. Mm. Here you go, boy. Mm. 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 Myself. My name's Compton, short for Compagnathus. As you may have guessed, that's my buddy, Triceratops. Glad to meet you. My name's Cut Cut. Look, I can't 
can't get on the auto mover when it's moving the wrong way. Huh? I'm Virgil Clyde. Would you look at that? Now, aren't you the cutest little guy on four wheels? What can I do to help you? My name's Putt-Putt, and I'm visiting from the past. I was just checking out this balloon thingy. First things first, you can call me Miss Electra. And second, this must be your lucky day. We're giving those balloon makers away free. It's our anniversary. Makes as many balloons as your little heart desires. Gee, thanks! For golly sakes! Welcome to the Pink Orama 3000. Scanning process initiated. Painting process initiated. Painting completed. We hope that your paint overall experience has been a pleasant one. I look good. Thank you. And enjoy for new colors. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Electra. What kind of machine is that? Why, it's a battery-making machine. You can help me make some if you like. Wow, that sounds like fun! For golly sakes! Okay, Putt-Putt, you can make me a battery with 10 volts. Just punch in the number of volts you want and the machine, bless its heart, will do the rest. Okay, I can do that. I'll start with six volts. I still need more volts of power, so I can have a total of ten. Four plus six equals ten volts. That's it! Ten volts of power. I'm all done, Miss Electra. Thank <laughs> you.
sure you want to leave? Yes, it is a lunchbox. Welcome to our museum. I am Arthur T. Fact, the pre-programmed curator. But you may call me R. T. Fact. Hi, I'm Putt-Putt, and I'm visiting from the past. I think that lunchbox you have on display is mine. I am sorry, but I have no record in my memory banks that this particular lunchbox belongs to you. There were 4,362,000 of them manufactured in your time. But I'm sure that one's mine. It's got a picture of Smokey the Fire Engine on it. I cannot give it to you. Otherwise, I will not have an ancient food container on display. What if I gave you another ancient food container? Then could I trade it for my lunchbox? Yes, you could. Great! I think I have something you're really going to like in my glove box. Here's an ancient food container for you, Artifact. It's a really old stone bowl. I got it from a wheel way back in the dinosaur ages. The dinosaur ages, you say? How amazing! This will now be the oldest item we have in our museum. Here. Take the lunchbox. Thanks! Great! I got my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox back! Now all I have to do is get Pep, so Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. One ancient toasting. Welcome to the library. Excuse me, I'm Putt-Putt. I'm visiting from the past. I thought this was a library. Where's all your books? My, my, you are from the past, aren't you? Nowadays, all books can be found on our computer. Usually, when you find what you're looking for, I can make a copy for you. But unfortunately, at the moment, we're out of paper. By the way, my name's Darian. Darian the Librarian. Glad to meet you, Darian. The pig. The large pig was hungry. He ate three pink petunias. His pet dog ate the scraps. The manatee found the missing t-shirts. Now all of the dogs will be happy. Is that confetti that they're throwing? The bunnies cried when their instruments turned into fish, but they laughed when the audience turned into turtles. Look! That monkey just jumped off the monkey bar so hard his shoes fell off. Hope he lands in that pile of sawdust. The lion is carrying a watermelon and a cheese log. He's balancing a fan on his head. The lion is carrying a watermelon and a cheese log. He's balancing a fan on his head. Which weighs more, a pound of lead or a pound of feathers? Susie writes the answer with a pen. The bear combs his hair with a hairbrush. He brushes his teeth with a toothbrush. Afterward, he'll wash his hands with soap. Yikes! The elephant is trying to ski on banana peels on a mountain of snow. Look out for the toast! That vampire has hot peppers instead of fangs. Can you find his friends the werewalrus and the mummy bunny? Sam sleeps all snug in his bed, covered with cozy blankets. He dreams his socks are all missing.
Your food is in process. Welcome to the Petorama, the make-it-yourself pet food smorgasbord. You may make any kind of custom pet food simply by creating the animal you wish to feed and then pressing the food button. Thank you and have a pleasant day. This looks like fun! Your order has been acknowledged and accepted. Wow! Look at that! Open that rusty gate. A thousand and one thank yous, Putt Putt. Now we won't be late for story time. Bard Max Wellington, who loves to play the lute. I once thought of being a piper, but I cannot play the flute. Hi, Woodward. Good to see you again, Putt Putt. You're in for a regular treat, because Sir Pound a lot, my friend over there, is the nicest blacksmith in the world, and that's the truth. Greetings, traveler. May I help you? My name's Papa, and I'm looking for something. Take all the time in the world. My shop is your shop. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks! Woodward sure delivered a huge pile of firewood. Oh, that Woodward. Such a helpful little fellow. Coming along nicely. Hello, I'm... Do, do not tell me. Ah, yes, you must be from the future. How did you know that? You are not the only visitor I have encountered from another time. My name is Merlin. Merlin the Magician? Wow! You have traveled from a time very far away. And like all travelers, you must be looking for something. I sure am. Well, my friend, I believe you will find everything you are looking for. I hope you're right. <laughs> Welcome, ye stranger. What be your name? My name's Putt Putt. And I am King Chariot. Thou hast arrived just in time to hear a reading from the Royal Joke Book. 
Oh, that sounds like fun. Hmm, now which one shall I read first? Joined us for story time. Me too. Thanks. I like stories that are sometimes scary, with creepy monsters so mean and hairy. I love stories of mermaids so free, who find lost treasure in the open sea. I like things that make me smile and laugh, like a school of fish riding a river raft. I can't do it, Pep. Sorry. Wait a minute. I might have something that will work. Disasters? Disasters? I don't know about that, Mr. Firebird. I guess it all depends on how you look at it. Between you and me, I thought time traveling was the best fun ever. Well, I'm glad you had so much fun, Putt-Putt. But according to my calculations, you're going to be late for school unless you hurry. Yikes, you're right, Mr. Firebird. I'll show you my report later. Here's my history report. <laughs> Now let me tell you what I learned.
sang Do you want to play again? Were brownies, elves, and the pixies dance. I swiped to the 